Hey, what's going on YouTube boxing fans? This is your boy Borges coming at you once again with another boxing video. Uh, happy New Year 2013 and a happy belated Christmas. Uh, merry belated Christmas rather. Uh, been out. Um, still working on my 2012 boxing video, guys. Uh, I know you guys are anticipating about that video. I put a preview out there. I'm still working on it. I've been extremely busy, guys. I've been uh, working crazy hours. So, uh, I'm still working on the video, so stay tuned, guys, still. But I'm making this video to keep my channel nice and fresh. And I want to talk about uh, some things that people are asking me about to make videos of. So, let's get down to business. Uh, first, the Marquez and Pacquiao fight. That, that fight was crazy, guys. I mean, I made a video about this, made a prediction about it. I had Pacquiao winning. But, you know, I knew somebody was going to get hurt. I knew either fighter was going to get hurt bad. It just had that certain feeling. I felt that feeling. These guys had something to prove, and it was either give or take. And they were going to go ahead and try to lay each other out as soon as possible. And that's what happened. Um, crazy, 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 crazy fight. I mean, when I went inside, when I, okay, when I was watching the fight, this is what went in my mind. I was like, okay, all right, Marquez Paca, let's do this. Let's go. And then, like, every little single punch that each uh, each guy landed in the first one, I was like, oh, my God. Like, shit. Like, they were throwing vicious punches already. And that that was a scary part. That was, I was like, okay, this shit, I don't know. And then, you know, I forgot which round it was. But then Marquez, if you notice in the past fights, Marquez always landed that overhand, looping right hand, you know. And it seemed to, like, boom, knock Pacquiao down. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? I was in awe, man. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, it was like, it was a hard punch. But I think Mark has landed harder punches before that didn't drop Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of weird. The punch, the, you know, guys, well, not that I'm talking about, right? Is that overlooping right hand that hit Pacquiao and then he fell down? His first knockdown. It was, I was like standing there like, like, what the fuck just happened? And I thought he was going to be done. Like, that's it. You know? But, you know, what kind of confused me is, like like I was saying, like, I think Marquez landed uh, a much harder punch than that in the previous fights. And mm, Pacquiao didn't go down. It was more like a punch where Pacquiao didn't see. And you know how you s people say that the punch you don't see hurts the worst? Well, that's what happened. And um, I was like, holy shit. I was like... Like, everyone, everybody was cheering, guys. Like, everyone was like, oh, because I was with a bunch of Mexicans. I was watching the fight with a bunch of Mexicans, with one of my boys. But um, I was like, everyone was yelling, going crazy, drinking and shit. I was like, what the fuck just happened? I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so I was like, okay, new round, new round, guys, new round. So let's go Pacquiao. Came with, with a little more bad intentions. Came with a more vengeful outtake. Going in there, you know, landing his combinations. And then he knocked down uh, Marquez. He didn't knock him down, but Marquez had to uh, touch the canvas with his glove to keep him up. So, therefore, qualified for a knockdown. Bam, knocks him down. And Marquez looks extremely hurt, guys. I mean, Marquez in this fight was, was hurt. I mean, he was much more hurt than I've ever seen him before. Then Pacquiao went in there. He's like, okay, I got you, motherfucker. Boom, boom. And then he had him against the ropes. So his nose bloodied up. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Marquez was backing up. Mar uh, Pacquiao kept coming at him. It was, man, it was crazy. It was fucking crazy. He was, Marquez is, he was in trouble, guys. Um, but that's pretty much summary of all the rounds before the big punch came from Marquez. Uh, looks like uh, uh, Pacquiao was going to take out Marquez in that last minute. Um, Marquez was uh, pretty much waiting. He was waiting for, for that one faint and the left hand from Pacquiao. That's what he always does. And that could be uh, an exposure on Pacquiao's part. That could be a, a move that every fighter can look out for and land a big punch on. Uh, Pacquiao pretty much fainted or like, and then jabbed with it, like a little short jab, like three times, one, two, three, try to land that left hand. And Marquez said, here it comes, boom. He lands that right hand. It was kind of like, it was luck, but then it was perfectly timed. And it, it was a skillful move. I say it was, a, it was a combination between luck, skillfully timed, and knowing his opponent's attacks. Uh, the luck was he didn't know if he was going to take Pacquiao down that hard. I mean, he didn't know he was going to drop Pacquiao down that hard. 
skillfulness. He knew exactly what, what Pacquiao was going to do. He knew how to step on the outside and land that right hand. And it ran right on the button. Right on the button. It was, it was a beautiful punch. A beautiful punch. I mean, he went to the side, and it was kind of like Marquez said, okay, I know what I know what punch to throw when he does this shit. I'm going to try to throw it. I know it's going to land. I don't know how hard it's going to hit him. I don't know if it's going to take him down, but fuck it. I'm still going to throw it. Boom. Close his eye. That was, uh, was amazing. I was... I was in shock. I was like, what the fuck just like Pacquiao? Like what was the last time he got knocked out like that? Like, man, I was I don't know, I was I'm still shocked. Even in 2013. But um aside from that, man, it was a great fight, man. I want to see a, a fifth one. I actually want to see a fifth one. You know, sometimes I don't think there's you know, it's like unnecessary to have a fifth fight or other fights when there was a clear winner. But guys, man, I mean, people are saying Pacquiao is done. Remember, Pacquiao was getting to Marquez. I mean, Pacquiao was hurting Marquez, okay? Now, just think about it like this. If Marquez didn't land that right hand, what would have happened? You got to think about that, you know? You got to think about what would have happened, you know, the rounds to come. Pac if the Marquez, would Marquez land another punch like that? Who knows? Was uh, Pacquiao going to knock out Marquez the next round? Who knows? It's, it's all about the, the, the sport of the unknown. You got to find out what's going to happen. And um, that's what happened. So uh, I want to see a fifth fight. I want to see a fifth fight. People are saying Pacquiao's done. I don't, think, I don't think he's done yet. I think he still has the skills. He still has the fire. But not as much as he did like in 2009 when he was on fire. But I think Pacquiao can't take as many punches. Because people are saying that he has signs of. Or his doctors have signs of Parkinson's disease and so forth. Feel sorry for the guy. Um, this thing is rumors and it's not true. There has to be some truth to it because you got to think how can a guy like Pacquiao take that many hits throughout his whole career and get knocked out that devastatingly and not have any kind of uh, ring, uh, lingering damage. You got to think about that. Um, can't take that much punches, man. The, the guy, he takes a lot of punches. I mean, he fought the likes of, you know, Barrera, Morales, uh, Cotto, Hatton, De La Hoya, uh, fucking Margarito, Clotty. Uh, Bradley, Mosley. I mean, you got to think all these guys he fought. I mean, all the punches that were landed on him and he fought Marquez. I mean, most of these fights, I probably like 80, 85% of the fights that I just said were all wars. So you got to think to yourself, even a fighter as great as many pocket, you got to wonder if he can take any more of this, you know? I mean, you can't just say, you can't say that uh, about a guy like, just like, you know, Cotto and then not question the same thing about Pacquiao. Because Pacquiao, he, he, he with Stood a lot of punches, man. A lot of punches. Um, but, uh, so I, I do want to see a fifth fight. Um, I, I, I'm not going to make a prediction yet about it. But, uh, aside from Pacquiao, people are saying that Marquez is uh, the man right now. He is the man right now. Big props, man, to Marquez in Mexico, man. You guys got a great fighter. Uh, but, um, they're, gonna, they're saying that he wants to fight or... Bradley wants to fight Marquez. That fight is questionable. If if Marquez doesn't want to lose that belt, he shouldn't fight Bradley. You guys should, you should already know what guy I have winning. Not a Marquez hater. I love Marquez. But between Bradley and Marquez, I possibly have Bradley winning that fight. This I'm going to explain why, okay? I'm going to explain why before you say, oh, you fucking hater. Shut up. I'm going to explain why. To be successful against Bradley, you need to have the dynamic, dynamic speed. You have to have the dynamic aggression. Because Bradley is majority of the time he's a boxer. He can uh, fight on the inside when he wants. But when he does fight on the inside, he he fights on the inside. He doesn't fight at long range and broad long range because he is short. So he is predominantly a boxer. And when you're fighting a guy like uh, Marquez, Marquez tends to have problems with uh, boxer punchers or any kind of boxer fighter. Uh, you show that against um, uh, Marquez fought uh, Mayweather. Uh, well, Marquez fought this one. Uh, fuck, what's his name? He fought this one Asian guy back in his career. I think it was Indonesian or something. He f and, uh, and you don't even hear about him anymore. But he he was he he was known as a pure boxer. He was pretty tall, a light skinned uh, Asian guy, and uh, he beat Marquez. Um, a guy like Bradley, you know, I, I really don't like him too much. Just for my reasons, uh, I do respect all fighters. Though. I respect him, but 
you know, he like, um, I don't know, he, he, he carries a certain thing with him, I don't like about him, I don't know, but um, aside from that, damn, my phone's ringing, aside from that though, uh, Bradley is a boxer, Bradley doesn't have a lot of power, but he knows how to box, and he knows how to peter pat his punches, I don't like his style, that's what I don't like about him, but he knows how to move, peter pat his punches, get out the way, uh, Bradley's a very durable fighter, uh, if he gets hit, he's Hard to take down. You've seen that against uh, Pacquiao. Um, he's uh, very, very mentally strong. And, well, I don't know if he's physically strong, but he, I know he doesn't have a lot of power in his punches. But Marquez, he can go up against a guy as hungry and as young as uh, Bradley and as ath athletic. That's what I want to say. Uh, Marquez will probably, it won't be as a uh, lopsided fight as a Mayweather fight. It'll probably be a, I have a decision for Bradley if they went if they were to fight. It's just a different style of fight, guys. Don't let the Pacquiao and uh, Marquez fight for you. Marquez knew uh, Pacquiao's blood type. Marquez knew his social security. Uh, Marquez knew where he was born, what time, uh, every motherfucking thing. He knew Pacquiao from head to toe, front to back, and the back of his hand. Everything he knew everything about Pacquiao because they fought so many times. So you know you can't expect the guy. You can't expect uh, a guy like Marquez that fought Pacquiao for the fifth, uh, for the fourth time to go in there and fight Bradley the same way. Because he doesn't know Bradley. He doesn't know. These guys don't know each other. They haven't fought each other. So it's going to be different. It's going to be a different kind of fight. You know, it's, it's a different fight. You know, styles make fights. It's a different kind of fight. It's a different feel to it. It's not going to have the same aggression, the same intensity that Marquez can work off of with his counter punching. So I have, um, to verify what happened, I'll have a more... Thorough prediction, but as the time draws near and if the fight is more concrete and signed, but for now, if that fight would happen, I have Bradley winning. Um, guys, uh, it's your boy Borges. I'm still working on 2012 video. Stay tuned. I'm still working on it. It's, I'm trying to make it badass. So everyone, take care. Peace out, and uh, enjoy the rest of the year for 2013. I'll make more videos. I gotta talk about Mayweather and shit about his upcoming fight, man. Uh, peace out, guys. Take care.